Hey guys, Salt Chrome here, and today I'm going to give you guys my review for the new Titan subclass called the Sunbreaker. So guys, first I will talk about how good it is in PvP, and after that I will talk about how good it is in PvE. So guys, the Sunbreaker in PvP is a monster. Its grenades, super, melee, and passive perks are all good. Titans in year 1 were the least used class in PvP. This was because their PvP abilities were lackluster. But this new subclass will definitely change this. You may ask right now, what perks makes the Sunbreaker Titan so good in PvP? So guys, I'm gonna give you guys a PvP build for the Sunbreaker. And with this build, you guys will become an almost unstoppable monster. For the grenades you can use the fusion grenade or the incendiary grenade, they are both good, but I prefer the fusion nade. When using the fusion nade, be sure to have a armor piece that has increased grenade throw distance. This perk will make your fusion grenade stick easier to your enemies. For lift, I prefer the increased control, just because I want to go from A to B as fast as possible. The best perk for the Hammer of Soul Super is definitely Forge Master. This will give you the ability to throw more hammers and each hammer will have a bigger explosion. I mean, you cannot go wrong with this perk. And it's hands down the best perk in the tree. Sun Charge is okay, but I rather throw hammers from a distance. For the Sun Strike melee, you can use Thermal Vent for more damage output per melee charge. Because when you melee someone uh, with thermal vent, you will create an explosion that does additional damage. But if you want to use your melee charge more frequently, then uh, use Stroke to Forge. Stroke to Forge will give you reduced melee cooldown. And when you get a, a killing blow with it, your melee will recharge instantly. I personally prefer Stroke to Forge. The stat modifications are your choice, so I'll skip those. For my playstyle, I prefer the most armor. In the first passive perk column, the Flame Seeker is the best option here. This perk will give your hammers tracking. The tracking is not insane, but it does help a little bit. Up next we have another column of stat modifications. Like I said before, this is your guys' choice, but I prefer armor. And then in the second passive perk column, we have Cauterize. So, this perk will regenerate your health instantly every time you kill someone with your fire. And by fire, they mean your melee charge, your grenades and your super. And of course, the sunspots. This is the most important perk in this build. This is the perk that will make you a walking tank. Just watch the gameplay in the background closely. I can engage multiple people with a lot of confidence with my super because of this perk. Because I know as soon as I kill one guy, I will start regenerating my health and will be ready for the next guy. So this perk is definitely one of the strongest perks in this subclass. This perk is a must use in PvP. So guys, with this build, with the Sunbreaker, you will destroy in PvP. Sunbreaker right now is uh, one of the best subclasses to use in PvP. Titans right now are finally at the same level as Hunters and Warlocks in PvP. I also visit the Destiny forums frequently. And lately I've been seeing a lot of posts about the Sunbreaker being too OP. If you ask me, is the Sunbreaker OP? I'll say yes, it's as OP as the Blade Dancer and the Golden Gun. If you think about it, every super in Destiny is OP. It's a goddamn super, it should be OP. What do you guys think about this topic? Let me know in the comment section below. This was the first part of the video, the PvP part. Now we are going to talk about how well the Sunbreaker does in PvE. Well, like in PvP, in PvE the subclass is also a powerhouse. With this new subclass, I feel like the Titan is finally the tank class in the game. The Sunbreaker Titan in his super can take a lot of damage before dying, but not only that, he can also do a lot of damage. You can focus your hammer to one major or ultra enemy, 
Or you can use your hammer to kill a lot of tier 1 enemies. For PvE Sunbreakers, I have two builds in my mind. One build is pure for DPS and the other build is pure for survivability. So, let's begin with the DPS build. The grenade for this build is the Fusion Grenade. The Fusion Grenade is a sticky grenade that is very powerful. Its purpose is to do a lot of damage to a single enemy. For your Hammer of Soul, Forge Master is the best choice. Because more hammers and bigger explosions equals more DPS. For your Sunstrike melee, use Melting Point. When you melee an enemy with this perk, you will bring his defense down. This will allow you to do more damage to that enemy with your weapons, super, grenade, melee, everything for a short period of time. For your first passive perk column, choose Explosive Pyre. With this perk on, your enemies will explode when you kill them with your hammer and deal additional damage to nearby enemies. For your second passive perk column, it's a tough choice between Cauterize and Slimmering Flames. Cauterize will regenerate your health when you kill an enemy with your fire and Slimmering Flames will reduce the cooldown of your melee and grenade when your super is full. Slimmering Flames actually forces you to keep your super but in return it will give you more grenades and melee charges which equals more damage output. So it's a very tough choice between those two perks but I still prefer Cauterize. Because with Cauterize while dealing damage you can also be a tank. So guys this was the DPS build for the Sunbreaker. Now I'm going to give you the survivability build for the Sunbreaker. For your grenade choose the Termite Grenade. The purpose of this grenade is not to deal a lot of damage but to keep enemies away from you. Which is a very important thing for survivability. For your Hammer of Soul use the Scorched Earth. This perk gives you the ability to create sunspots upon the impact of your hammer. You can use these sunspots to keep away enemies. For your sunstrike melee use the thermal vent. With this perk you can create sunspots upon melee kills. And again sunspots are very useful to keep your enemies away. For the first passive perk column you can choose whatever you want, it's not going to affect your build. But if you ask me, I'd choose Explosive Pyre. For the second passive perk column, you need to choose Firekeeper to make this build work. With this perk active, you gain an overshield and your Hammer of Soul lasts longer while standing in a sunspot. So when you are in a sticky situation, just activate your super, throw a hammer at your feet. Not only you will gain a overshield, but your hammer of soul will last longer. Plus enemies can come to you because you have the sunspot. So guys, those were the two builds that I had in my mind for PvE. Go try them out and let me know what you think about them. If you can improve the builds with the different perk combinations, just let me know in the comment section below. Overall, I think the new Sunbreaker subclass for the Titan is a very good subclass. It's very powerful, very tanky and it's easy to use. The Striker subclass is definitely going to be history for me. After playing this class, I don't think I will ever go back to the Striker subclass. The Defender with Helm of Saint 14 is still the best PvE subclass for the Titans, but for PvP the Sunbreaker will be the king. So yeah guys, this was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more similar content. And I'll see you guys on my next video.